If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated with more fascinating content, please consider hitting the notification bell, subscribing to our channel, and sharing your thoughts in the comments section below. Crocodile Kingdom Masters of the Wild Crocodiles are ancient and fascinating reptiles that have been around for millions of years. It is a statement that highlights the remarkable history and evolutionary significance of crocodiles. They belong to a group of reptiles known as crocodilians, which includes alligators and caimans. This group has a lineage dating back to the late Triassic period, over 200 million years ago. This makes them one of the oldest surviving lineages of archers or reptiles. Crocodiles have changed very little in terms of their basic body plan over millions of years. Their distinctive features, including their elongated bodies, powerful jaws, and semi-aquatic lifestyle, have remained remarkably consistent through geological time. Some species of crocodiles, such as the American crocodile and the Nile crocodile, are often referred to as living fossils because they resemble their prehistoric ancestors so closely. These creatures provide valuable insights into the evolutionary history of reptiles. Crocodiles' ability to survive and thrive for millions of years is a testament to their remarkable adaptability. They have successfully adapted to various environments, from freshwater rivers and lakes to coastal estuaries, and even the open ocean. Over their long history, crocodiles have developed a range of fascinating behaviors and adaptations. These include complex social structures, impressive hunting techniques, and unique reproductive strategies, such as temperature-dependent sex determination in their eggs. Recognizing the ancient lineage of crocodiles underscores their importance in ecological systems. They are apex predators that help regulate prey populations, maintain the health of aquatic ecosystems, and contribute to overall biodiversity. Throughout history, humans have been captivated by crocodiles. They feature prominently in the mythology and folklore of many cultures, and their impressive size and power have made them subjects of scientific study and public fascination. Despite their ancient lineage and ecological significance, many crocodile species face conservation challenges today. Habitat destruction, illegal hunting for their skins, and conflict with humans are some of the threats that have led to declining populations in various regions. Let's admit that crocodilus status as ancient and fascinating reptiles speaks to their unique place in the natural world. Their resilience, unchanged design, and intriguing behaviors make them a subject of ongoing scientific research and a symbol of Earth's long evolutionary history. Efforts to conserve and protect these remarkable creatures are essential to ensuring their continued presence on our planet. Crocodiles are incredibly well adapted to their aquatic environments, which has allowed them to thrive in various watery habitats around the world. Here's a more detailed exploration of their aquatic adaptations. They have elongated, streamlined bodies that are well suited for life in the water. This body shape reduces water resistance, enabling them to move swiftly and quietly through the water, making them effective ambush predators. Crocodiles have webbed feet that help them swim efficiently, while they are not as proficient swimmers as some other aquatic animals like fish or dolphins. Their webbed feet provide stability and control in the water allowing them to navigate with precision. Crocodiles have specialized adaptations to prevent water from entering their ears and nostrils while submerged. Valves in these openings close tightly when they dive, keeping water out and allowing them to remain submerged for extended periods. Their eyes are located on the tops of their heads, allowing them to see above the waterline, while the rest of their body remains hidden. This adaptation enables them to stealthily observe potential prey or threats without exposing themselves. Many crocodile species are primarily nocturnal, hunting and being active at night when it's cooler, and their prey may be more active. This behavior helps them conserve energy and avoid overheating in their warm, aquatic habitats. Crocodiles are ectothermic, meaning they rely on external sources of heat to regulate their body temperature. Their aquatic environments provide stable temperature conditions, allowing them to stay active year-round. Crocodiles are masters of camouflage, they often lie partially submerged, with only their eyes and snouts visible above the water's surface. Their mottled skin pattern helps them blend in with their surroundings, making them virtually invisible to potential prey. 
They have incredibly powerful jaws lined with sharp teeth. Their jaw structure is ideal for grasping and holding onto prey in the water. They can exert tremendous force when closing their jaws, making them efficient predators. Crocodiles have specialized sensory adaptations for hunting in water. Their jaws are equipped with pressure receptors that can detect the slightest disturbance in the water, helping them locate prey even in murky conditions. Some species, like saltwater crocodiles, have specialized salt glands that allow them to excrete excess salt, enabling them to survive in both freshwater and saltwater environments. Crocodiles often build nests near the water's edge, where they can keep a watchful eye on their eggs. The proximity to water ensures a safe and convenient place for their hatchlings to enter their aquatic world. They have evolved a suite of remarkable adaptations that make them perfectly suited for life in aquatic environments. These adaptations enable them to be efficient predators, masterful survivors, and key components of their respective ecosystems. The perception of crocodiles as ruthless killers is a common but somewhat unfair characterization. Here's a more detailed explanation of why crocodiles are often misunderstood and the complexities surrounding this perception. Crocodiles are apex predators which means they are at the top of the food chain in their ecosystems. As such, they play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of their respective ecosystems by controlling prey populations. Crocodiles are known for their ambush hunting strategy. They patiently wait for their prey to come within striking distance. Before launching a lightning fast attack this behavior can make them seem sudden and ruthless. They are territorial animals, and they may defend their territory aggressively. This territorial nature can lead to confrontations with humans who inadvertently encroach on their habitat, giving rise to the perception of aggression. While crocodiles can be formidable predators, their actions are primarily driven by survival instincts. They do not actively seek out humans as prey, but may perceive them as threats or potential sources of food when humans enter their territory. Actual crocodile attacks on humans are relatively rare, compared to the large number of interactions that occur between humans and crocodiles. Most crocodile species are shy, and will avoid human contact whenever possible. The increasing human population and habitat encroachment into crocodile habitats have led to more frequent human-crocodile interactions. This can sometimes result in conflicts, particularly in regions where both humans and crocodiles rely on the same water sources. Media often sensationalize crocodile attacks, portraying them as ruthless killers in pursuit of higher ratings or readership. This sensationalism can perpetuate a skewed perception of crocodiles. Misunderstandings about crocodiles can hinder conservation efforts. Negative perceptions may make it more challenging to gain public support for the protection of these reptiles and their habitats. Many conservation organizations work to promote coexistence between humans and crocodiles through education and responsible management strategies. These efforts aim to reduce conflict and increase understanding of these animals. In some cultures, crocodiles hold symbolic or spiritual significance, and they are not viewed solely as threats. Cultural perspectives on crocodiles can vary widely, further highlighting the complexity of human-crocodile relationships. Moreover, while crocodiles are indeed powerful predators with behaviors that can be intimidating, it's important to recognize that they are an integral part of their ecosystems. Viewing them solely as ruthless killers oversimplifies their role and the complexities of human-crocodile interactions, responsible education, conservation, and coexistence. Efforts are essential to better understand and protect these ancient reptiles, while minimizing potential conflicts with humans. Conservation efforts are indeed crucial to protect crocodile species from the threat of extinction. Crocodiles face various challenges that put their survival at risk, and concerted conservation initiatives are necessary to ensure their long-term viability. Here's a more detailed explanation of why conservation is essential for crocodiles. One of the most significant threats to crocodile populations is the loss and degradation of their natural habitats. Wetlands, rivers, and coastal areas where crocodiles reside are often converted for agriculture, urban development, and infrastructure projects. Conservation efforts aim to preserve and restore these critical habitats. 
As human populations expand, conflicts between humans and crocodiles become more frequent. Conservation efforts include educating communities on coexistence strategies, implementing safety measures, and relocating problem crocodiles, rather than resorting to culling. Crocodiles are hunted for their valuable skins, which are used in the fashion industry, and their meat, which is considered a delicacy in some regions. Conservation organizations work to combat illegal poaching and promote the sustainable use of crocodile resources through regulated farming. Climate change poses a threat to crocodile habitats, rising sea levels, altered rainfall patterns, and increased temperatures can disrupt nesting sites and affect crocodile populations. Conservation initiatives focus on habitat protection and mitigation measures to address these challenges. Pollution from agricultural runoff, industrial discharges, and plastic waste can contaminate crocodile habitats and harm these reptiles. Conservation efforts include advocating for clean water regulations and educating communities on responsible waste management. Invasive species, such as feral pigs and fire ants, can impact crocodile nesting sites and prey populations. Conservationists work to control and manage these invasive species to protect crocodile habitats. Conservation programs involve ongoing research and monitoring of crocodile populations. This data helps assess the health of populations, identify threats, and implement appropriate management strategies. Many countries have laws and regulations in place to protect crocodiles and their habitats. Conservation organizations collaborate with governments to enforce these laws and strengthen protections when needed. Captive breeding programs are established to bolster populations of endangered crocodile species. These programs can help reintroduce captive bred individuals into the wild to boost genetic diversity. Engaging local communities in conservation efforts is essential. Conservation organizations work with communities to raise awareness about the importance of crocodiles in ecosystems and the benefits of preserving them. Many crocodile species are migratory and cross national borders. International cooperation is necessary to ensure coordinated conservation efforts and the protection of crocodile populations across their ranges. Conservation efforts are multifaceted and crucial for safeguarding crocodile species from extinction. These initiatives address habitat preservation, human crocodile conflicts, illegal trade, climate change, pollution, invasive species, and more by working collaboratively at local, national, and international levels. We can protect these ancient reptiles and the ecosystems they inhabit for future generations. Crocodile skin is indeed highly prized in the fashion industry, particularly for its use in crafting luxury items like handbags, shoes, belts, and wallets. The desirability of crocodile skin in fashion has led to a lucrative market, which unfortunately fuels illegal poaching and threatens crocodile populations. Here's a more detailed explanation of this issue. Crocodile skin is considered one of the most luxurious and exotic materials in the fashion world. Its unique texture, durability, and aesthetics make it highly sought after by fashion designers and consumers, who are willing to pay a premium for products made from it. This exclusivity further drives demand. Luxury fashion houses and high-end designers often use crocodile leather to create iconic and prestigious items, contributing to the demand for crocodile products. The allure of owning a crocodile leather accessory has made it a status symbol for many consumers. The high market value of crocodile skin has led to illegal poaching, where individuals and criminal organizations hunt crocodiles without the necessary permits and quotas. This poaching is a significant threat to crocodile populations, as it often targets mature individuals, which are essential for breeding and maintaining population health. Crocodiles are selective in their choice of prey, often targeting weak, injured, or old individuals within prey populations. This natural selection process helps to maintain the health and genetic diversity of prey species. While primarily predators, crocodiles are also opportunistic scavengers. They consume carrion, dead animals, which helps clean up the environment by preventing the buildup of decaying organic matter. Crocodile feces, along with the remains of their prey, are rich in nutrients when they defecate in or near the water. These nutrients are released into the ecosystem, providing essential resources for aquatic plants and microorganisms. This contributes to nutrient cycling and the overall health of aquatic habitats.
Crocodiles are territorial and often occupy specific areas along rivers, lakes, and estuaries. This territorial behavior can create pockets of biodiversity in these habitats, as other species adapt to coexist with crocodiles, or adjust their behaviors to avoid them. Crocodiles build nests along the water's edge, typically made of vegetation and soil. These nests can provide habitat and shelter for other wildlife, such as nesting birds or small mammals. The nesting sites created by crocodiles can also help stabilize riverbanks and reduce erosion, which can benefit the overall structure of the aquatic ecosystem. The presence and health of crocodile populations can serve as indicators of the overall health and balance of aquatic ecosystems. Declines in crocodile populations may signal problems within the ecosystem, such as habitat degradation or pollution. In some cases, misguided attempts to control crocodile populations through culling have had negative ecological consequences. Removing crocodiles can disrupt the predator-prey dynamics and lead to overpopulation of certain species, causing imbalances in the ecosystem. In regions where crocodile tourism is practiced responsibly, it can provide economic incentives for conserving these reptiles and their habitats. It also raises public awareness about the importance of crocodiles in maintaining the balance of aquatic ecosystems. They are keystone species in many aquatic ecosystems. Their presence and ecological roles help maintain the health and diversity of these habitats. Conservation efforts aimed at protecting crocodile populations also contribute to the preservation of entire ecosystems, underscoring the importance of these ancient reptiles in the natural world. The role of crocodiles as apex predators in their aquatic habitats is fundamental to maintaining the balance of these ecosystems. Their powerful jaws and sharp teeth are key components of their predatory success. Here's a more detailed explanation of how these aspects contribute to their role as apex predators. Crocodiles are highly efficient and effective predators due to their unique combination of physical adaptations and behaviors. Their powerful jaws and sharp teeth allow them to capture and mobilize and consume a wide range of prey making them top predators in their ecosystems. Crocodiles are known for their ambush hunting strategy. They patiently wait submerged in water, often with only their eyes and nostrils exposed above the surface. When prey comes within striking distance they can launch a lightning fast attack. This method minimizes energy expenditure and increases hunting success. Crocodiles have a broad diet that includes fish, birds, mammals, and even other reptiles. This versatility in prey selection means they can adapt to changes in prey availability, helping maintain a balance among different species in the ecosystem. As apex predators, crocodiles help regulate prey populations by controlling the numbers of certain species. They prevent overgrazing of vegetation and overpopulation of other animals, which in turn affects the entire food web. Recognizing the ecological importance of crocodiles underscores the need for their conservation efforts to protect, preserve crocodile populations, help ensure the health and integrity of the entire ecosystem in which they reside. In long way short crocodilus are apex predators with powerful jaws and sharp teeth, making them efficient hunters that play a vital role in maintaining the balance of aquatic ecosystems. Their predation dynamics influence prey populations prevent overpopulation and contribute to overall ecosystem health and stability conservation efforts that protect crocodile. Populations are essential for preserving the intricate web of life in these aquatic environments. Crocodiles indeed have a unique and highly efficient method of temperature regulation, which is essential for their survival in a range of environments. Here's a more detailed explanation of this fascinating aspect of crocodile physiology. Crocodiles are ectothermic, meaning they rely on external sources of heat to regulate their body temperature. Unlike endothermic animals, like mammals and birds, that generate internal heat to maintain a constant body temperature. Crocodiles have evolved to use their surroundings for temperature control. Crocodiles are often seen basking in the sun on riverbanks or logs. This behavior allows them to absorb heat from the sun's rays warming their bodies. They can adjust their position and orientation to maximize sun exposure or seek shade when they need to cool down. Being aquatic animals, crocodiles also use water temperature to regulate their body heat. They can submerge themselves in water to cool off or maintain their temperature when the external environment is too hot. 
Crocodiles are remarkably efficient at thermoregulation. They can maintain a relatively stable body temperature within a range that optimizes their metabolic processes. This ability allows them to be active and alert when hunting or defending territory. Depending on the temperature crocodiles adjust their behavior during cooler periods, they may be less active and conserve energy. While warmer temperatures can lead to increased activity levels, crocodiles also have a unique way of influencing the sex of their offspring through temperature-dependent sex determination TSD. The temperature at which crocodile eggs are incubated can determine whether the hatchlings will be male or female. This adaptation is crucial for the species' reproductive success. In regions with distinct seasons, crocodiles adjust their behavior and thermoregulatory strategies. During colder months they may reduce their activity and rely more on basking to maintain their body temperature. Potentially impacting the survival of these reptiles. In extreme temperature conditions, crocodiles may become stressed high temperatures can lead to dehydration and overheating, while extended exposure to cold temperatures can reduce their metabolic activity. These stress responses can affect their health and behavior. In ancient Egypt, the crocodile was associated with the god Sobek, who had a crocodile head. Sobek was considered a protective deity and associated with the fertility of the Nile River. Crocodiles were revered and mummified as offerings to Sobek. Aboriginal cultures in Australia have various stories and dreamtime legends about crocodiles. These legends often depict crocodiles as powerful and mystical creatures, sometimes with the ability to shape the landscape. Nile crocodiles have a vast geographic range extending throughout much of sub-Saharan Africa. From Egypt in the north to South Africa in the south, they inhabit various freshwater habitats including rivers, lakes, swamps and estuaries. Nile crocodiles are apex predators in their ecosystems, with a reputation for being highly skilled and opportunistic hunters. They have a diverse diet that includes fish, birds, mammals, and even other reptiles. Their hunting strategy often involves lurking near the water's edge, waiting for prey to approach, and then launching a sudden and powerful attack. Nile crocodiles are known for their significant impact on human populations in Africa, and their role as both apex predators and opportunistic scavengers. Let's delve into more detail on these points. Nile crocodiles, Crocodilus niloticus, are apex predators in their aquatic habitats. They are opportunistic hunters with a diverse diet that includes fish, birds, mammals, and other reptiles. Thanks to join us on this journey, please subscribe. Nile crocodiles inhabit a wide range of freshwater environments, including rivers, lakes, swamps, and estuaries. These habitats often overlap with human settlements, agricultural areas, and recreational activities near water bodies. Nile crocodiles are known for their aggressive and territorial behavior, especially during the breeding season. Males become fiercely protective of their nesting sites, and may perceive humans as threats or potential prey. 